In this video, I'm going to go through the idea of commuting observ observables. And so we're going to calculate some commutators. And commuting is a word you're probably familiar with already. It means like driving somewhere. That's not what it means here. So briefly, we're going to have some new notation. When we write two operators, so two matrices, in brackets like this with a comma between them, that means, hey, calculate the commutation of these. And what that means is AB minus BA. Now remember that these are matrices. And so the order matters. You can't just flip the order that you're multiplying them in and get the same thing. And that's what this is capturing. So notice that if it's B comma A, you would write this. So if you look, this is the same as just minus AB minus BA. It's okay to just swap the order that things are added. That's fine. So in fact, B comma A is the same as negative A comma B. So sorry about making that a little bit unclear. So there is this general idea that if you swap the order of the entries on the inside, you get the negative commutator. So let's try to do out an example to show you what this might give us. And again, there's going to be some later use of this. This isn't just a mathematical thing we can introduce to have new homework problems. This is going to relate to the uncertainty principle. And this is going to relate to the, site, the types of things that we can observe in quantum mechanics, which is inherently related to the uncertainty principle. So let's look at measuring the spin in x and the spin in y. And note that in this case, we can actually calculate an operator that's or effect operators in the right word a matrix from the commutator that is in fact not applied to a state so we can calculate this without having a specific state in mind so let's look at these so if i want to look at sx sy notice that i am still expressing both of these in this the z basis that's that's x sy minus sy Sx. So this is just going to be matrix multiplication. And so our Sx is h bar over 2, and then 0, 1, 1, 0, h bar over 2 from the Sy, and then 0, negative i, i, 0, and then we do the same thing in the opposite order, because the order does matter for matrix multiplication. There will be cases where you calculate zero, and that is very meaningful, but let's find out if that happens here. And I'll have to pop up here to actually have uh, enough space. Sorry about that. So um, what we're going to get, so I'm going just here. Notice that I can bring out uh, h bar over 2 squared. And now I'm multiplying these two matrices. So multiplying two 2 by 2 matrices will give me a new 2 by 2 matrix. So row times column, 0 times 0, 1 times i is i. And then my next row times column, so row times column, 0 times negative i is 0, 1 times 0 is 0. So this would be i plus 0, okay? Uh, sorry, i and then 0. Next one, row times column, 0, row times column, negative i. Now, I have a minus sign. And then again, h bar over 2 squared. And then another 2 by 2. So rho times column is negative i. Rho times column will be 0. Rho times column is 0. Rho times column is i. And feel free, if you're still needing some practice to um, multiply matrices, pause the video and multiply these out yourself and, and make sure that you can get to this point. So now if you look something nice has actually happened. Both of these have just diagonal elements. And so I can actually think about combining them together. And you could combine them together even if they weren't just diagonal elements, but this will be quite simple. They both have an h bar over 2 squared out front, but then we have to be careful because there's a minus sign in front of this one. So this is i minus minus i, so i plus i, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, negative i minus i, so negative i minus i. So that is just going to be h bar over 2 squared. 
And I'm going to bring out a 2i, and what I'm left with is 1, 0, 0, minus 1. So, okay, and maybe you wouldn't have necessarily seen to pull this out, but I'm going in a specific direction and I happen to know where I'm going. What we have now gotten is that my commuter of sx, sy is equal to, what, what is that equal to? If you look, I can bring one of these out and put it here. I now have two i h bar over two. One of them has come over here, h bar over two, and this is just s z. And this is actually a kind of general relationship, and you can actually go through and prove this with the different, um, with actually your different spin operators, that the commuter of two spin operators actually will give you the third one. So I'll stop here. Again, the goal was to see that this isn't zero, that in fact, the, mul the order you multiply them in actually matters, and this interesting relationship pops out here that we can interpret elsewhere.